So whenever you're using EV renderer inside of Blender and you try to use reflection, you don't get a proper reflection. So to show you an example, I'm just going to delete out this cube right here. I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and then I'm going to bring in a UV sphere right here. So let me just go around and then shade this sphere smooth just like this and then I'm going to bring this up. I'm also going to bring around, let's say for example, um, uh, a plane right here and then scale it out right here. So let me just go around onto the render mode right here and then on the uh, render engine, I'm just going to select EV just like this. So this is what I want to enable, screen space reflection. But to see reflection, you need to go around and enable out the reflection texture. So I'm just going to go around and turn it metallic right here, just like this. So this is going to be metallic right here, and this is going to be metallic as well. So let me just change this into a metallic ball right here, and then I'm going to change the base color. So now you, you can see that there's a bit of a reflection going on right here, just like this. On the bottom, you can see that there's a bit of a reflection, but it's not perfect. So you do not really see it well rounded. So I'm just going to go around and create some duplicate right here, just like this. So from the side, you do see reflection, but uh, they are a bit cut off, as you can see right here. Let me just go around and then change around the roughness down right here. And you can see the reflection. It is there, but it's not full. So what you may want to do is uh, you may want to uh, render full reflection, not just partial reflection right here. So there's a trick to it because um, a EV render is using faster way to calculate things. You, you cannot see it like you know, very accurate rendering results. But in this case, you want a render accurate rendering result. So uh, what happens is that you, know, you do have to remember that you're keeping a strain on the graph, graph, graphics card. And if you're okay with that, then you can use this method. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and over here on the light probe, you can see that there's something called the reflection plane. And if I were to click on reflection plane, you can see that I have this, I can scale this around right here, just like this. And the reflection plane itself should be inside uh, this right here. So you, the uh, object right here should be inside the plane. And now you can see the full reflection is there. So this is the one with the reflection plane. Without is like this and with is like this. So now it is doing a proper calculation as I add in the reflection plane, as you can see right here. So, so you can see the other side as well. And there you go, there's the reflection, um, like how you would see it. So you can go around, change this round, and you can see that there's a proper reflection. So if I were to go around onto the reflection plane, let me move this onto the side, let's say for example, and you can see how it actually works like. There's partial reflection right here, but where there's the reflection plane, and as long as the object is within the reflection plane, you can see that the reflection is full. And that is how it actually works. So you have this out right here. So you have the reflection plane, and then if you were to go around uh, over here, uh, you can work around with uh, a lot of things right here. So you can work around with uh, the reflection plane option, you can turn off the half uh, res and everything, all the settings can be worked around with right here, and then there's a proper reflection. And that is how you can work around with the reflection plane in order to uh, render out full reflection inside of EV Renderer. So I hope you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.